What is up ladies and gentlemen, in this video I take a look at 20 recently released tweaks for iOS 9. The first tweak is called Bluetooth Name and Settings and what it does is it places the name of the connected Bluetooth device in your settings app so that you can see it's sort of like the Wi-Fi connection just like that. See it? Power Beats Wireless. The next tweak called COG allows you to quickly discern whether or not the last message in a conversation was sent or received. So sent messages, you can see a right arrow going that way and received messages, you can see a left arrow going this way. It's a pretty handy tweak to quickly see who sent the last message. The next tweak rightly called Easy Respring allows you to swipe up on the home screen page in the app switcher to quickly respring. The next tweak called Easy Low Power Mode places a low power mode switch in the settings app at the bottom of the settings app like this. So you can turn on low power mode just by visiting settings and enabling the switch like that. Face down locks your device when you place your device face down like this and wakes it when you place it face up like this. Face down, lock, face up, awake. Now the next tweak is full folder nine and I think it speaks for itself. The folder takes up the entire screen just like that. Lock light is a jailbreak tweak that allows you to disable spotlight pages and also lock your device when swiping over to the spotlight page on the left side of the home screen. So you have these options here, but watch what happens when I swipe to the left of the home screen. Locks your device like that. Now here's spotlight search results. Now you see the little show more button. When I tap that, it shows more search results, right? Well, there is a jailbreak tweak called always more for spotlight. Guess what it does? It automatically expands that and automatically shows more in spotlight. You don't have to hit any buttons when you're doing the search. So you see all the results like that. No show more button needed. Pretty simple. Now this is a great tweak for those of you concerned about privacy. It's called incognito messages. And what it allows you to do is to disable read receipts until you start typing a reply. It also allows you to hide the typing indicator. So you see the hide typing indicator switch, here's incognito messages, and the send read receipt on typing, which is great for your privacy. Next up is mutiny. This allows you to swipe on a conversation directly in the messages app to mute that conversation. So I'm just gonna swipe like this and then tap mute and I mute it just like that. Next up is recently uninstalled, allows you to see the recently uninstalled Cydia tweaks. So you just go into settings, scroll down to recently uninstalled, tap view recently uninstalled, and there's what I recently uninstalled. <laughs> Next up is Switcher Flipper. This allows you to reverse the orientation or switch the orientation of the app switcher. So now it's going left to right, I guess you could say, or right to left, I don't know. It's just opposite of what it normally is, right? <laughs> Our next tweak is Switcher Speedster. And what this does is it does a lot of things actually. It hides blur on the app switcher. So you can enable it there, no blurs no icons, and then you can manage individual blur settings and things like that. Um, and this supposedly helps speed up your app switcher. And I think it does a little bit, feels a little snappier. Next up is Reveal NC9. I love this tweak. You get the Android style notification center reveal, which just looks really, really smooth, really sleek, better than Apple's version. Next up is Enable Live Photos. This is a flagship tweak. This is one of those tweaks that you absolutely need and you're gonna see why here. This allows you to not only take live photos, but you can actually view the live photo like this. You can even assign it to your lock screen wallpaper. Let me show you the camera app here. You see the little live photos button there. So you can enable live photos just by tapping that button. And then when you take a photo, see so I'm tapping it, enable. When you take it photo, a photo, you'll see that it's taking a live photo. You can tap on it like that long press to view that live photo. It's awesome tweak. And speaking of awesome, 4C brings 3D touch to older devices. Not really, but with the long press, you can now access the quick shortcuts just like that. Hide settings search allows you to hide the little search box that appears in, at the top of the iOS 9 settings app. So I'm gonna scroll up there, no search box. It's gone, folks. Our next tweak is breadcrumbs away. I love this tweak. I actually reviewed it a few days ago, maybe a week ago. This allows you to swipe away the little breadcrumb links that appear in the upper left-hand corner that allow you to go back to an app. So you see that back to app store. If I tap that, I go back to the app store, but I can also swipe it away if I don't intend on going back just like that. Next up, here's a little bonus for you guys. This isn't actually out yet, but I wanted to show this to you. 
It's an upcoming jailbreak app from June's iPhone that allows you to create beautiful looking mockups using screenshots and other assets. Uh, let me just show you one real quick here. I'm just gonna select this screenshot and look at that. Look how beautiful that is. I'll have more on that later. I know Sebastian's gonna absolutely love that one. Next up, here's another little sneak preview for you, Weatherboard 2. Yes, you guys know I love the original Weatherboard. Well, it's back and it has all the beautiful effects, all the beautiful weather effects in tow. Uh, so you have lightning, you have thunderstorms, you have rain, all that jazz. Let me show you some lightning. I love this one. Here's some lightning on our lock screen and our home screen. Get enable. Come on, lightning. Come on, there we go. So there you go, folks. Weatherboard 2 coming soon. So ladies and gentlemen, that is a look at 20 different jailbreak tweaks. Uh, some of them, not all of them are, are released, obviously, but the majority are out and available right now in Cydia. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.